Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. Your Honor, I sense the defense is finally ready to let it go and move on. God, I love to say that. Almost as much as I like to say putrid. Well, Miss Sykes, are you ready to let it go? Let it go! I understand that you don't like the movie Frozen. How is that even fucking possible? Get out of my car, Athena! No! I'm just saying I don't like it anymore! After prosecuting the same book! You just don't understand, right? That movie changed my life, man! And now, back to channeling people! Hey! Sneako B, back with some more Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. We last left off completing case four, and it, it was fun, you know? It was a fun little diversion, even if it wasn't really connected to the main plot. Uh, I did see some of you guys say that it actually really was confirmed by the developers of the game that uh, case four was intended to be a light hearted, more just kind of like, uh, I mean, well, intended to be a filler case because. Uh, t to take a break from the main story, which is apparently a bit emotionally taxing and stuff. I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's just because I have played through a lot of emotionally taxing games, but I haven't so far found this one to be that bad yet. Yet. I, I mean, I could jam them on here at the end where it's just like, oh my god, Apollo's dead, Nico. Fuck! No! Looks like the only people left are me and Athena. We're the main characters now. You piece of shit, fire! We also killed Blackwell, and Clavier's dead, Edgeworth's dead too, stop it! I would go down, I would set fire to fucking Capcom headquarters. <laughs> Why is everything I love dying? No! Uh, it's like Chucky fucking all over again. But the good news is that I've heard from you guys that this uh, final case is supposed to be really, really good. Uh, like some of you guys are saying it's not just the best final case of the game, or well, the best case of the game, uh, but one of the best like final cases of the entire Phoenix Wright series. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Also, if you guys say it's very long, and by far the longest final case for Phoenix Wright. Wow, goddamn, <laughs> that must be really long then, because I know there have been there have been some really long final cases in the uh, the previous games. To actually beat those out means this has got to be substantial. I even saw a few of you say that like like this case is like the reason why people love this game so so much. I mean. I, I will say, and this is just based on my opinion so far of the game, um, is it my favorite yet? Like, is this everything I've seen up to this point? Uh, no. <laughs> Most definitely not. Uh, I still think Trials and Tribulations and Ace Attorney Investigations 2 are better than this game. Is this better than Dual Destinies, though? Yeah, absolutely, at least so far. But I'll be curious to see. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I find it a little hard to believe that one case could truly, like, just, just make a game, ascend a game uh, that high. I, I don't know. But... It's supposed to be really good. I, uh, I'd be kind of curious to see... I mean, we'll probably be controlling Phoenix, right? But how will Athena and Apollo come into play at all? Is there going to be any more character development for them? I'm sure uh, Nayuda is going to get his arc in this one. Um, at least I hope so. He gets some kind of development. Nope, just going to be an asshole till the end. There we go. Hope you all enjoyed me. Bye. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I, I do think it's going to be like... At some point, we're gonna go back and kind of maybe we do what we did last game, Dual Destinies, where we like retry the Dirk's case or something, you know, like what we did for Blackwell, maybe. I don't know, maybe that's kind of retreading old ground too much. I I don't know, but or maybe we're just we're gonna overthrow our government and slay all the fucking disbelievers. Well, let's fucking find out. All right, turn about revolution, investigation day one. Let's get started. I do not think I want to try to attempt to sit through this investigation in one go. I the the, the first. Day of investigation is always stupidly long for every case. And if this is as long as you guys say it is, this, this one's probably going to be even worse. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, it's Dirk! It's Power Ranger Dirk. Oh my god! Yeah! Sweet! <laughs> God, I hate this show. People of Kurai, we can't allow things to go on like this. Oh. The Defense Culpability Act has done nothing but produce countless victims of wrongful convictions. So, Drew, is that you? The time to act is now, for we, the Defiant Dragons, have obtained the ultimate weapon, the Founder's Orb. And to the Garenian regime. Make no mistake about it. I will personally dethrone you. A dragon never yields, nor will he rest until his revolution is complete. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, what the hell? 
Back to the right editing agency? Oh, I'm 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 Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> I was I kind of thought we were just gonna go back to Phoenix and well, all right. Well, Apollo had his case. Athena had her case. Back to Phoenix right. Yeah, that's right. Back to me. I'm on the one on the cover of the box. Talk about the <laughs> yes. Yay! All right. Good. It makes me happy. Uh, May 16th, 11 a.m. Right anything agency. And this concludes our report on the recent television hijacking incident in Karai. But really, who could have anticipated such a surprising turn of events? Did you hear that, Polly? Someone hijacked the airways over there! It's like something out of a movie! You're just trying to distract me from the fact that you stabbed me earlier! I'm sorry! I thought my trick would work! No, ah! Uh, I got a hole in my chest. How the hell am I supposed to slam my desk really hard if my insides keep dripping out all the time? Apollo? Uh, um, yeah. Dirk! <laughs> I can't get over that name. I'm sorry. It's just it's one of those things. It's just fun to say, you know, Dirk <laughs> Dirk. What are you up to this time? Oh, right. Dirk's my dad. That's, I almost forgot. Dirk's my dear old daddy. Well, well, my adopted dad. Wait a second. Do you know that high TV hijacker is selling Apollo? Uh, you could say that, but it was a long time ago. And why do you know someone like that? I mean, they're calling him an insurgent. Yeah, about that. You guys don't know anything about me. I told you all about him. I told you about my dad and... Okay, anyway, Apollo, let's talk about doing my next trick. God damn it. Uh, hey now, is there any way to talk about the men who raised you? Huh? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, where did you come from? How the hell did you get here so fast? Wasn't that a live video feed we just saw? Okay, well, uh, seeing as you got the Sojuro, uh, voice actor, official voice actor, might as well give you the Sojuro voice too, then. Hey there, Apollo. Long time no see. How have you been, my Ben son? It, 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 it's... It, it's that guy that was on TV! Ha 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 ha! Guilty as charged. Surprised to see me, Apollo. I just beamed in from Karaid, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this can't be happening. I must be dreaming, or hallucinating, or both. No, you're not Apollo. He's he's here. He's got a gun. <laughs> it's that T hijacker slash insurgent in the flesh. We're gonna die, both of us together. All right, Dad. This is my half sister that I don't know exists. I'm so confused. Dad, I like your new eye patch. You look a lot like Daddy Majima. Um, Mr. Hijacker, sir, I have so many questions. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Let's start with a bit about the man who raised you. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you haven't told anyone about me, son. It's okay to brag about it. Tell everyone your old man's me, the Rebel Dark. <laughs> Rebel Dark. <laughs> I mean, my face all over TV these days. I'm a practically a celebrity. Ha ha ha! Oh god, when you laugh, you remind me of Mr. Wright. Oh. Oh man, no. Is that why I decided to become Mr. Wright's apprentice? Oh shit. Ah! Oh god! I just realized something. I might actually see Mr. Wright's a father figure. But Mr. Wright's an asshole. That's not true. Shut up, son! I'm in the middle of talking about myself. Okay, wait. No, I, never mind. I'm seeing it again. Truth. Trucy. What do you say we close up early today? What? What? Why? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, son. No need for the cold shoulder. <laughs> it's funny, like, I never expect Dirk to be like, he just looks so, like, serious and, I mean, he looks like Orin, you know? He's got an arm in a sling. He's got an eye patch. Just, I don't know, he looks so hardcore all the time. I wasn't expecting to make all these goofy faces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to regret this, but what do you want, Dirk? Dirk! Just show up here without warning after all this time. What gives? I came all this way to see you, son. Come, rejoice. Right. Why don't you tell me the real reason you're here? Well, okay, so maybe there's a little something I need your help with. Do, but the fact is I came here to see you. That's the honest truth. Yes, I think we've established that. Figures. I haven't seen him in ten plus years, and he's already asking for a favor. He really is a, re a rebel in the purest sense. He just does whatever he pleases. Come on, Polly! 
I need the details. Quarry mice want to know. Okay, okay. Hold your horses. First, I've got a few questions of my own. Oh, wait. Hey. Dad, look. I've got my own attorney's badge. <laughs> ah! What's that? It's my attorney's badge. I can relate. I used to want to show mine off, too. <laughs> well, I'd do it better, Dad. Don't ever show it to anyone in Karai. We'll run you right out of town the moment they find out you're a lawyer. I wonder how it went for Mr. Wright. With him, he probably flashed it left and right. Hey, guys, look at this. Oh, man, look at this again. Uh, Mr. Wright, this is the 18th time you've shown it to me. Only 18? God, we were knocked that number up some. But come on, it's cool, right? Yes. Again, for the 18th time, yes. It is very nice. Now, please, leave me alone. Hey, you dumb bird. Look at my back. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God, it's Snagger Man again. Ah! Okay. All right, I'm done with you, Dad. No way, I can't move. I have to stay here and talk to you. Pleased to meet you, little lady. My name is Dirk Sadmati. So yeah, okay. So Trucy and Apollo have the same mother, but different fathers, right? Yeah, yeah. Cause so Trucy's mom and Apollo's mom were with was with uh, her dad over there, whose picture is on the wall. Uh, and uh, I guess with him as well. Lamoir really got around, didn't she? My name is Dirk Sadmati. I'm a, well, a rebel by trade. Oh, right, yeah. I was like, wait, that's right. <laughs> we also said that Nayuta was his actual son. And my, uh, stepbrother, I guess. You, wait, is that right? Uh, adopted brother, yeah. A rebel? Like rebel scum? Yes, yeah, just like that. But on TV, they're calling you an insurgent. So which is it? The same thing. For Sambo, for a rebel with a cause. A rebel with a real head. Egg for anyone in your way! Trucy! Da ha 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 ha! You got me there. I'm the head of a resistance group. The Defiant Dragons. We're like the good, the bad, and the ugly. But without the good part. <laughs> I'm Karai. I'm like the boogie. The bogey. Bogeyman? I don't know if that's a typo or just really we're trying to go with an alternate boogeyman. A tall tale pa parents used to spoof their kids straight. That's too bad. So that could be fun. Cool guy to hang out with. I'd like to have a beer with you. So lady's a real cat's son. Ta I'm talking bride material if I get my Oh god! Dad, no! Don't encourage it! No! <laughs> oh god. Wait, what? Oh, you know what? That really makes me Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm forgetting. It's adopted! He's your adopted son! It's not. So this guy has not been with Lamoir. I was thinking to myself, oh man, would it be great if you ran to Lamoir and then they confirm that Trucy and Apollo are related, but no. Adopted father, not his actual father. So, okay, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I know some of you are already screaming at the screen like, oh my god, Nico! He's gonna fuck it up again, isn't he? Sorry, it's just getting, this whole family tree is getting me confused. Oh, stop it, you're embarrassing me, Dad! <laughs> ah ha 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 ha, ah ha! <laughs> She's a plucky one, all right. So unpluck me out of my misery. <laughs> now, about that man who raised you business. Foster father. I'm Dirky Daddy. Daddy Dirk. What did Mr. Dirk mean when he said that he, he's the man who raised you, Apollo? The truth is, I grew up in the kingdom of Karain. Did I, uh, did I never mention that? Uh, so you grew up in Karain? What are you saying? You're not from around here, Polly? No, I was raised in Karaim when I was really little. I've been I've been to a lot of places. So that's a shocker. It's like I hardly know anything about you. How come you never told me? She never asked. Follow. You really haven't said a word about your past, have you? What? That I was raised by a wanted criminal? It's like a bad joke. Does sound rather rather melodramatic. And anyone would even believe you. Heck, I don't even believe you! So you two haven't seen each other in a while, huh? You could say that. And the wager has been at least ten years. Wow. That's a really long time. Yeah, well, I figured you forgot about me. Not a chance. It's just, well, I'm busy saving my kingdom. Starting a revolution takes time. And keeping it going, even more so. And being a wanted man, I could just hop on a plane and come say hello, like I just did. I get it. It's fine. Though, truth be told, it's weird having Dirk suddenly show up acting all paternal. 
I'd even almost forgotten about Kurain. No, that's not true. It's kind of hard to forget with fucking Ayuda around. Probably tried to forget about it on purpose. I was a little string bean back then. Now then, Mr. Dirk, what is it we can help you with? What do you want, Dad? I need to get my hands on the Founder's Orb. The most secret treasure of Karai. That's where you come in. I thought... I thought you said you already had it. Founder's Orb? Wait, did you say you already have it in that broadcast of yours? Okay, yes. <laughs> ah -ha -ha! Don't go believing everything you see on TV, little lady. Even if I was the one to say it. Nobody's seen hide nor hair of the Founder's Orb for some time. N no way! So that was just a bluff? What are you gonna do if you don't find it? And also, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. Guess it just means we have to find it, son. So I can't really back down now. Can I? Can I? Ah ha ha! Ah, different year, same old Dirk. It's all come back to me now. Hold on. I think I read something about this in the newspaper a while back. Something about you guys stealing a sacred treasure from a temple's treasure room. That's a load of crock. Didn't lay a finger on the orb. Really? Yes. Basis allegations. All of it. Our enemy has really found a way to keep us on our toes. Oh! So it's like a setup! That's the long and short of it. However, my compatriot has been hot on the orb's trail. And just the other day, his hard work finally paid off. We now know the founder's orb is in. Korain Village. Oh! Oh, okay. It's pronounced Koran Village, thank you. No, it isn't. Nico's been saying it wrong for all these fucking games. Yes, here there are spirit mediums there. Even have direct relations with Korai. Spirit mediums, right. That was last trilogy, Dad! Some doctor of archaeology there supposedly has the orb. His name is Archie Buff. Ar 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 Archie. Archie Buff. Archie Buff. Yeah, it sounds like you're saying, like, aren't you buff? <laughs> like a question mark, maybe? I don't know. My defiant dragon compatriot has already made contact with him. Is that, uh... Is that the goofy guy? Is always eating lizards? Apparently someone asked the doctor to study the orb. So whoever asked him to do that is the real thief. Most likely. You think this guy will just hand the orb over to you? My compatriot, Dads, says Dr. Buff has already prompts to do so. Yep, good old Dads. Seems he knew he had been it had been stolen. He wanted to do the right thing. Dads. I remember running around with him when I was a kid. Oh yeah, that's right. He did actually mention that he interacted with Apollo. So he's here too, huh? Apollo, won't you be present as my lawyer when I take possession of the orb? Would you do that for me? Fine. <laughs> no! Haven't seen you in years. He waltz in here asking for a favor? You have a lot of nerve, you know. Of course we'll help! Right, Apollo? What? Wait, Trucy, come on! Come on, let me be a big boy for once and make my own decisions. No, Polly! Okay. Oh, come on, it's not like you have any work anyway. Besides, we're talking about rebels and legendary treasure here. It'll be fun. Uh, why is she always into the things I'm not? <laughs> Fine, but I'll charge my standard fee. Now tell me about the or Founder's Orb. <laughs> By which I mean, none of the money goes to me, it all goes Mr. Wright. If I remember correctly, the Founder is always depicted as a faceless spirit medium. What do you mean, faceless? Ain't got a face! Yeah, that, that lady from... We saw her at the, uh, the House of the High Priest. Images of the Founder, the only mother of Karai, never, sh never show her face. To depict it is to commit the greatest taboo in Karaiism. Greatest taboo, huh? Wonder why? I mean, what could she have looked like to make them hide her face like that? I imagine it's more of just a sign of respect, right? Because, I mean, isn't it the same thing for the Prophet Muhammad, right? You're not, uh, technically, well, greatly discouraged from ever showing any kind of, uh, pictures or anything of him. I could be wrong about that, maybe I'm being ignorant, but I, I believe that is the general, uh, thought behind that, uh, that practice. As for the Founder's Orb, it was discovered during an excavation eight years ago. It has an interesting legend that goes along with it. It said that there's a riddle to the orb, that any who can solve it, who 
will receive immense spiritual power from the founder herself. This is like one big fairy tale to me. Oh, I want demon power! In any case, it's just what us defined dragons need to get our revolution started. With it, we can gain the spiritual power, and thus the legal authority to rule Korayin. Wow, really? That's what you're going for? Wait, suppose I believe this legend. Then anyone can become king or queen. And that's why I think it'll help you overthrow the Garanin regime. Or the Garan regime. Only the rules of Korayin have ever laid eyes on the Orb Apollo. A legendary treasure that bestows immense spiritual power. Doesn't that sound like something you'd want to see with your own uh, two eyes? It does sound just a tiny bit intriguing. It got a little bit far-fetched, but then again... Oh, wait, I don't even know what it looks like. I should just, just about cover everything. Any other questions? Not right now. I always kind of thought, this, I mean, the spiritual power is supposed to be something you're born with, right? Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you a present. Eat up, son! Is that- oh, is that sushi? Sushi? I figured you probably could, couldn't afford three square meals a day, so... <laughs> Yay! He's right, Polly! You can't! Shut up, Trucy! Don't tell him that! I was just thinking it was time for lunch! Mine! You dig in too, little lady. After all, we're practically family, right? Ah -ha -ha! Thanks, Dad! <laughs> Oh, that tuna looks good. Hey, come on. That was my tuna. The salmon sushi's got my name on it. <laughs> Are you hungry, son? This is some of the best sushi you'll ever have. I'm... I'm good. Uh, oh. Well, okay then. Uh, actually, I have one more present for you. Here. What's this? A picture of your father. It's been 23 years since he passed away. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? Oh my god, you know who my real dad is? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, we're learning so much about Apollo this game. I love it! Ah! Huh? This, this is my father? I wish I was wearing a hat so I'd get a better look. I bet he. he I just see one little spooky hair poking down over his face there. I bet he's got two antennas too. Or maybe just one really big antenna. The size of two antennas. His name was Jove Justice. Jove Justice! Oh my god, Double J in the house! My god, my dad is J.J. Abrams. Jove. I haven't talked to you about your real father in some time. But as you know, he was a musician. A watering minstrel, if you will, and a talented one at that. Why... Why are you giving this to me now? I thought it was sad you didn't know what your old man looked like. I searched high and low to find that one picture. Ah. What's wrong, Apollo? Don't you want it? I don't know. I mean, it's like I ever met this guy. Well, I went through all the trouble of finding it, so go on, take it. And don't ever let it go. You hear? It's being added to my court record, too. Is is my da my real dad going to be part of this? He died in Korean, so he's, he's not alive anymore. Unless that's a lie! Well, now that our bellies are full, what do you say we hit the road? One second. Hey, Trucy, any idea where Athena is? She left early this morning to pick up Daddy from the airport. Oh, I almost forgot. Is Rice come back today? Oh, okay. I'm- Yay! Thank God! Get me out of this fucking godforsaken piece of shit country! Yeah, but I wonder why he cut his strip short like that. Is he bringing Maya back? Anyway, should they have been back by now? Knowing Athena, she probably got lost. Well, there's no point sitting around here waiting. Let's get, let's get going. Can we see that super mysterious treasure? To Koran Village, then. The Founder's Orb awaits. Hi, uh, damn it, Dad. Claire, you and I have a very strained relationship. Oh my god, we haven't been back here in a long ass time. Since. Yeah, probably trials and tribulations. Uh, May 16, Koran Village? Actually, I wonder if Pearls will show up then. I mean, she should probably still be here, right? 
This is Koran, the, the mystical village of spirit channeling. Where ancient traditions come alive. Looks like a really peaceful place. Ah, I love the air here. Nothing beats the mountains, huh, Apollo? Come to think of it. We used to live way up in the mountains, too. Just like this. Sure brings back memories. Those were the days. The three of us living happily in peace. Still can't wrap my mind around it all. No? And Mr. Dirk is not only Polly's dad, but Prosecutor Samadhi's as well. And the way you two talked about it like it was nothing, the whole bus ride here! <laughs> I guess it is a lot to take in. So tell me, Mr. Dirk, what was Apollo like as a kid? Oh, he was full of piss and vinegar. He was. <laughs> a real rascal. No, I was the good kid, and Yudi was the rascal. He sucked. He always stole my juice box and ran away and shared it with his little butterfly friends. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't catch me, Polly. Ah, give it back, Yudi. Ah. That's right. More juice for us, butterfly friends. Yay! Ah, get him away from this. Okay, so I can't take my mind off the fucking cigarettes. He and Yudi used to run around in the open fields, naked as jaybirds. <laughs> I even got pictures of him posing in his birthday suit. Dad, no! Whoa, whoa, Dirk. No way, Prosecutor Sabati used to be like that too? I want to see Polly Nakey! No, come on. Dude, don't would end up with leeches on their butts and cry like babies. Ah ha ha! Dirk, don't you think you said enough? Stop, Dad. Oh, you're no fun. Yeah, I want to hear more about the misadventures of Polly. God, this is the worst day ever. Uh, hey, what are you people doing here? Uh, oh, hey, it's me! Emma? You know this lady, son. Yeah, this is Emma Sky. She's a detective. We've definitely got some history together, right, Emma? It's Daku, Polly! Technically speaking, I'm a forensic expert, but I'll let it slide. Anyway, I guess I'm surprised to see you here. You always seem to pop up whenever there's trouble afoot. Still, what are the odds of running into you here in the boonies? By trouble, you mean you're investigating a case? Does it look like I'm here to sightsee? Puffy face? Wait, don't tell me. You're not here to see Dr. Buff, are you? Oh god, is he dead already? Huh? How'd you know that? I'm actually on our way to meet with him right now. Figures. Well, follow me. I'll show you the way. I'll show you his dead, lifeless body. Really? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, son. Just follow the nice lady. Doctor Study. May 16, Curran Village, Doctor Study. Oh, hey, it's that, uh, I recognize that, uh, that statue over there. Er Arabaki or something, is that right? He was one of the personas in uh, in Persona. <laughs> but I guess yeah, one of the one of the gods, I believe. He had a very very funny look about him. He looks like a big old machine. Actually, he's even got cogs inside of that 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 thing there. So this is Doctor Bus Study. Ah, look at all those books. Got a little green raincoat or something too, an old plane. The shells go from the floor to the ceiling. It's like a library in here. Yes, and lots of art artifacts, too. A true archaeologist's paradise. Look, son, there's so many relics. They're spilling on the floor. What a delightfully amusing room. All I see is a mess. What's with that white outline? Um, Emma, where's the doctor? Well, the thing is, he died last night. Wait, what? Seems an av avalanche of books knocked him off his bookshelf ladder. We're labeling an accidental murder. What? Please tell me you're joking. Come on. What are the odds? I know. That's what I keep saying. So if I come all the way out here for a few laughs, Apollo. Yeah. Guess not. A, a scholar killed by his own books. Oh, man. What do we do now? I mean, how can we tra transfer ownership of the orb to you if he's dead? Yes, that is a problem. Emma, can you please tell us exactly what happened? Oh wait, is there... 
What do you think you're doing? Get it? Oh, god damn it. I just wanted to look behind you. Oh, was there actually a, I, I'm just looking at the white outline of the floor of the bird. I think there's another one behind her, though. I didn't really see that one. The doctor's death. So the doctor died in an accident. I received a call this morning saying Dr. Buff had been found dead under a pile of books. This morning? Oh, bad timing. Mission that he had fallen off a ladder? Right, we believe you fell from the top of the big ladder there. Oh, there is, yeah. They even left the books piled on top of it. Apparently he triggered an avalanche of books while fumbling to reach one. That sent him headlong on a fatal fall into the hard floor. How sad. Killed by his own books. But at least he was doing something he loved. <laughs> being buried alive. Wait, what? We're a scholar. This was kind of like a soldier being killed in the line of duty. You say he died an honorable death. I don't know. It seems more like a clumsy death to me. Emma, who was the first one to discover the body? About that. Whoever it was, it seems they wanted to remain anonymous. What? Happens now and then, so people would rather not get involved with the police, because they because they usually end up being the killer. <laughs> it's true. That does happen a lot. I can relate to that. Yeah, being a wanted man and all. What now, Dirk? The dead man can't exactly hand over the orb. We'll just have to find it. it. Must be around here somewhere. Just to fill you in, Emma, we're actually here to get something. Founder's Orb. I want to take this big statue on with me. He's cool. Pops here had an agreement with the, the doctor. The doctor was supposed to hand over a sacred relic known as the Founder's Orb. Bobs. Oh, I see. That could be a problem, considering he's dead. Do you have a plan B? Um... I have an agreement in writing. My compatriot dad should have it. Now that I think about it, how did you even get out of the country? If you're like a wanted fugitive? Seriously, they let you just get on a plane and fly out of here? <laughs> well, there shouldn't be any problems then. So who is this gentleman you're escorting? It's my dad. Dirt! Oh, right. Haven't introduced you yet. How, wait, how do you not know? You were just in Karai. Didn't you see anything on TV? I didn't have time to watch television, Apollo! This is Dirk. He's from the kingdom of Karai. All the way from Karai, huh? So, what do you do there? I used to practice law, but I'm taking a break from all that. Focus now on making Karai a better place, though. Volunteer work. Volunteer work, huh? How interesting. Well, it's not technically a lie. So how do you two know each other? Oh, um, he's sort of my foster father. Come again? <laughs> yeah, and he's probably somebody's real father, too! What the heck? What? what? You mean you... You want Prosker Prosecutor somebody? Oh my god! So sorry. She's had quite a life. <laughs> Guess she's put a few things together. <laughs> my God. Yeah, you, 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 you get my pain, don't you, Emma? I do. Come here, bully! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So many butterflies. So many beads. Actually, Dirk, you look kind of familiar. Have we met before? <laughs> um, not that I recall. I do have that look about me, though, you know? I mean, guys with eye patches and arms for slings and long hair and big coats. It's all kind of the rage these days. Yeah, you're right. Everyone's just trying to keep up with that anime trend. Great, she must have seen that news report on TV. It'll really complicate things, she figures out he's a wanted man. A lot of guys who look like him. Sure you're not mistaken for someone else. <laughs> really? With the eye patch? Are there? Really? I mean, a middle-aged man with long hair and an eye patch. You'll see that every day. Well, I'm sure you're just imagining things. Look at Majima, right? You're right! Oh, Miss Majima! That's right, that's that's who you remind me of! So is that sacred relic you're searching for? What does it look like? I mean, there's lots of stuff in here that it's old and relic -y. Indeed. Unfortunately, I have no idea what it actually looks like. So then how are we supposed to find it? That, I do not know either. We'll just have to go through each candidate one by one. Great plan of attack there, Dirk. Well, Emma, do you mind if I give this room a once-over? I guess not. But in exchange, you're all going to help me with my investigation. Sure, can't hurt. Ooh, 
I can't wait to get started. It'll be like hunting for buried treasure. I hope I don't have to dig anything up. Hey, right. wait, Emma, you're not gonna say anything different ever shows to you, will it? Will you? Your choice match. Ah. What? I don't like it's a better reaction from you. I'm tired of collecting your fingerprints. It's kind of lo kind of lost this luster. Yeah, who knows? Could be other people's prints on it. Ooh, that's true. Howdy over, buddy! Oh, <laughs> uh, she didn't actually say something different this time. Ah! Huh. The only press I found were yours. Ah, uh, it's all dusty now. <laughs> all right, well, I want to look at you, dude. You're kind of hard to miss. There's some sort of machinery inside this clay figure. Whoa, it's moving! Oh, hey! Oh! Oh, oh, his little eyes glow, too. Or they- No, they move! Oh, he's alive! Exterminate! Exterminate! Destroy all targets! Die! Uh, uh. Oh, God, he's attacking me! Why? Why is it only attacking me? Exterminate! <laughs> Do, do I want to know what this thing is for? What? We're not even going to talk about it. It isn't even supposed to be, like, based off a of god. Hey, look, guys. It's JJ the jet plane. Is this a bird? Looks like an airplane to me. No, it couldn't have been any planes back when this was made. Yes, but it has wings in both horizontal and vertical stabilizers. That makes it an airplane. No, it's definitely a bird. Open your eyes, son. <laughs> oh! Is this- <laughs> Are we- Are we having the step ladder joke? Is that what this is? Dad! As a lawyer, your job is to see the true nature of things. I still say it's a bird! Speaking of which, though, more importantly, Dad, what's this? Doctor fell from the top of that ladder. Hmm. Well, that eye fall onto the hard surface would probably kill anyone. I don't know why anyone would want to climb that eye in the first place. As you say, he climbed all the way to heaven. He's climbing a stairway, baby. Is that what? Is that bad taste? Yes. <laughs> I think it was. That got a little play was it was sort of the uh, quote unquote ladder joke. I mean, we brought it up before with when Phoenix was talking with Maya. Phoenix has got his ladder argument. Mine is between whether it's a plane or a bird. Uh, that seems like a harder point to argue, son. Shut up. Oh, hey, his little glasses here. There's a pair of glasses on this little pyramid here. They belong to the doctor. Scientifically speaking, they appear to be your ordinary run of the mill glasses. I guess they don't pique your interest, scientifically speaking. What, really? They look so. They're not any kind of evidence at all? They seem so. I don't know, like. Like, you gotta examine me for bits of evidence or something. Is that a bloody book? Where Dr. Buff died. Yeah. Ow! Oh, yeah. So, it's... Wait. It looks like dry blood there on on the book. And then... More blood? What is... Why is why is it brighter on another side of it? Poor man. He fell right into his head and probably died almost instantly. I see some blood in the book there. But what's that dark stain? Oh. Uh, okay. That's his... That is his blood. The, the one to the left. Appears to be coffee. It's still damp, so it must have gotten on there recently. Perhaps even last night. That's a mighty big window he's next to. Big enough for someone to see inside. Exactly. That's how the local resident who reported his death found him to, to begin with. The doctor's body was visible from outside the window. And a passerby called in earlier this morning to report where they found. Or the person who killed him! There's no accident, come on! So you mean this case is still only a few hours old? That explains why your investigation is just getting underway. Hmm. There are blood stains and coffee on one of the books. Ah, uh, that'd be a really bad way to go. Diagram the doctor's study. Note the bookcase, large window, and second floor area. Ah, uh, looks a little green raincoat. It's a two-tone raincoat. Still a bit damp. I think someone might have worn it recently. Oh, okay, that's it. What about your shoes? There are a few pairs of shoes here. Guess there must be an entrance on this floor, too. Yeah, there's a back door over that way. 
Well, it's usually locked from what I can tell. Fister's entry is up that spiral staircase. That's the way we came in. What? That's not examinable? This old ball thing. Uh. Not the shell. This painting here? It's a brown stain on this squirrel. Huh? Why does it smell like gravy? Mmm. Why would there be a gravy, gravy stain on it? Modern art, baby! Who knows? Looks like it was meant to, meant to be there. Maybe the artist was trying to inspire a gravy new trend. Food splatter art. It's, that pun would have made gravily dead, Dirk. Aha! Chip off the old block, son! <laughs> no, I was trying to make fun of you, damn it! It's a bird! There are animal drawings on the floor. Like those, those famous geoglyph things. They remind me of the chalk outlines detectives draw around bodies. And the doctors has just joined them. Now that's what I call dedication to one's field. Uh, that was kind of dark, Dad. <laughs> I don't think it was on purpose. A big old window. What a huge window. Then you can see the entire study from outside. How could it get concentrate, concentrate in here? I feel so exposed. Well, he does have a bookshelf positioned for some privacy around his desk. Whoa. This PC's password protected. Trucy, you think your magic can do anything about this? Let's see if I stick in my magic panties and... Oh, wait. Nope, it's gone now. <laughs> and it's gone. Now that you can override a password. Now a locked desk that I can get into. Like yours back at the office, Polly. I'm saying that I did that already. Yikes. I wonder what I put in there. Better find a different place to hide my porn. What? Do you put weird stuff in your desk? Stuff you don't want anyone to see. Jeez, are you mind a mind reader too? No, but I, I'm liking your thoughts as a cinch. Shut up. Uh, I think that's everything in here, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I always forget it's the D-pad, not the, the triggers that, that do this. Look. It's one of the doctor's notebooks. Research notes 21. Maybe there's something about the orb in there. Meet him a motif from the Kurain founding period. When dragon and tiger battle, the founder offers divine protection. Dragon and tiger! I know dragon! But what's the tiger? When the butterfly embraces the meet him the favor of the orb is bestowed. Oh, that's right. That was the, the, the box with the thing in it. Offer thy prayers as fervent as fire, only then shall the Holy Mother return. Descending upon... Us in all her glory, the founder bestows the the greatest power known. It's a photo of the treasure box, the one that Temple Temple's tre tre in the treasure room. These must be his research notes on the founder's door. What's that on the right page? It's like a poem or something. Let's see. Oh, it's a song that's performed during the Dance of Devotion. Ah, yeah. It's, it's been sung during Karayani's rites of offerings since ancient times. Oh, I think I've heard of that. There's also a legend associated with the, the song. Some say the solution to the orb's riddle is contained therein. Well, it was the solution to the opening that bot the treasure room box, so why not the orb as well? It's in a song everyone everyone in Karain knows? Not much of a sway to keep it secret. It's called hiding cigarettes in plain sight, Polly! Huh? Us magicians know all about it about that. Huh, that's strange. What is? Dr. Buff's notes contain the second half of the, the song. Only the first half is sung during the Dance of Devotion. Most people haven't heard, even heard the second half. Yeah. Second half? As in, the part that begins, Offer Thy Prayers. I'm impressed. That's some thorough research he was conducting. Hmm. Is this statue the same statue from Trials and Tribulations? I, I, the holding the same sword. It's got the two the the spikes on it. That was in the final case of that game too, but I think. Oh, oh, look, guys, it's the it's the fucking urn! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! And it's it's still got the pink stuff on it. It was it was paint, right? Ami. Huh. I had someone's name written on it. What was it before? Like we, it, it was that's her name. It was like Ami Faye, right? Uh, her great-grandmother, and, uh, before was it I Am? 
Let me try to put it back together and spell it differently. Why is someone name written on here? Oh my god, this guy's a big Phoenix Wright fan, I, I see. Maybe it's so it ever, if it ever got lost, someone can return it to its owner. You know, like how school kids put their names on things. Yeah, but this isn't urn. Name is written so big. Well, I wrote my name on my magic panties. <laughs> it says W R I G H T in super big letters. The less said about this, the better. Uh, what? <laughs> it's not about her panties, son. Yeah, she's weird. <laughs> I think I. Well, okay. There's that. I. I think. I think this might be it, actually. It's a gold statue. It's pretty old too. Hmm. Imagine it was a great archaeological value. Maybe too great for a private researcher of Dr. Buff's caliber. I wonder how he got his hands on something like this. A little dinosaur here. A coffee maker and a bunch of coffee cups. Let's take his coffee breaks here. No, I'm looking at Godzilla! Oh, it's a filter with old coffee grounds in here. Ah, uh, so I better clean this up. <laughs> what are you doing there, son? Ah! What? What am I doing cleaning this office? <laughs> Don't tell me they have you on coffee duty back at your office. All the time. They work me like a dog. N no. It's just, I, I don't, if I don't keep the place clean, no one will. No one will. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's burning to my very being. Ah, oh, I didn't talk about the dinosaur. Is that the same dinosaur that was in uh, Ace Attorney Investigations 2? Oh, uh, the movie set? Maybe? Lots of references. Is this the luggage right here from, <laughs> from Ace Attorney Investigations 1? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I think I might be stre I might be stretching things a bit here. This one big suitcase. They say the suitcase killed killed somebody, son. It's locked. Is it the doctor's? No, someone left it here last night. So the doctor might have had a visitor. How can you tell? A sticker there. You only see those on air airport luggage. Which means its owner is likely from overseas. Is there any way to figure out who it belongs to? Not unless we can open it and see what's inside. Guess not. Uh. Hehe. <laughs> ah ha! Oh. Ah, that's because you're not me! It was me! I'm a Sky, forensics expert extraordinaire! You don't have the power of your Nintendo 3DS! Oh, yeah, here we go. Try as you might, you'll find the word impossible in my forensics handbook. Is she okay, son? It's like she's became an entirely different person. Oh, uh, it's just what happens when her forensic swift gets, switch gets flipped. <laughs> oh, I've got a massive forensics motor right now! Ah! With this, I don't think the suitcase soda will be as easy as pie. Uh, I'm glad we're still using the exact same picture graphic from <laughs> all the previous games in the series. Always the same fucking picture. A little puffy ball in the bottle. I mean, you can tell us from the previous games too, because look how much stronger the outline of this picture is compared to like the items and stuff that we get now. It's indicative of the older games. Is that fingerprint powder? That's right. There's no better time than present to use it. Here we go. Oh lord, here we. We're out of news, right? Apply the powder where I think some prints might be and blowing excess off. Exactly. Well, have at it. Where would I expect to find prints on a suitcase? Oh, the handle. Uh, uh, okay, time to burp, burp, burp. Can't really put it on as thick as you could in the previous games. Hello? Why isn't it working? Blow! I'm in the button. You see it glowing. What the hell is it doing? I don't know. It's like, is it lagging? Pressing the button, but he's. There we go. Okay, look. I'm, uh, you guys see it? I, like, I'm holding the button, right? Why is it doing it? There. I have to position it. Man, it has to be more towards the center. Okay, there's some prints. Come on. I see it. I see prints. Oh, there we go. What? I see them. Motherfucker! Ah! I feel like they made this a lot more wonky than it used to be. Jesus. Getting hard to tell which are a reflective surface and which are just, and which are actually dust. Uh, this wasn't clear enough for a match. Where else could someone leave Prince Bond? Big son, I might someone ha handle a suitcase. Start by considering what you do with them. 
Uh, besides being wheeled or carried, they can be opened and closed. So should we look for princess? Should be left at those times. Ah, uh, okay. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, it's so fucking wonky. Like, sir, I, I think there's some lag, too. Like, I, I press the button and he doesn't blow. I have to, like, hold it down. I think that's the thing. You have to, it has to be in, in the center of the screen for you to blow it off. It doesn't just blow it, all of it off at once. Kind of like how it did before. These sections blow. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, these sections suck. Like I used to be. Or it just picks a spot and I just do it and it takes five seconds. Why do you make me do this game? I just don't fucking care. Oh, here we go. Hey, Emma, got a pretty clear print here, thank God. Okay, now let me know who you think it could belong to. Who could it be? It'd have to be someone who would have paid Dr. Buff a visit. Dirk! Uh. No? Oh, it's Dats. Dats our ball, dude! No, son, it's Dats our rebel. Get it right. Ah! Oh. We have a match! Dads, come think of it, he did stop by to see the doctor, didn't he? Conclude the orb transfer agreement. So he's the one who forgot his suitcase here. Where do you suppose he is now? I haven't heard from him in a while, and he's not answering his phone. He's probably dead. Wait, do you, th you don't think he's left his phone inside his suitcase, do you? I wouldn't put it past that knucklehead. Actually, I think we may have run into him earlier. Really? Suspicious man had been reported in the area. But when one of my officers approached the qu to question him, he took off like a shot. What? Sorry about that. Hurrah these people aren't all like him. I swear. Well, he's probably still in the village somewhere. I feel like you've got to recognize him, though, right? Because he was involved in that last case, and you were there for it. I mean, I know he had a beard at one point, but... Uh, oh, well, no, because I talked to him as Phoenix, though, without the beard. That was that was the only time I talked to him. He wasn't actually in court for without it, so... Okay, m maybe not. But still, his mannerism should seem sort of familiar. Let me know something about the orb. I feel like he'll probably recognize you. All right, let's go over this way, then. Or not. Am I not done here yet? Spiral staircase. It's connected to a hallway up there. Why do they have to place the second floor so high up? It's like they want me to die. Wait, you're not afraid of heights, are you? No. Um. Well. Oh, Polly's hilarious around high places. He gets all wobbly like a baby deer taking its first steps. <laughs> Shut up, Trucy. Leave me alone. And his face turns as green as a watermelon. It's not nice to make fun of people's phobias, you know. But you have so many of them, Polly! Come to think of it, the visitor's entrance is on the second floor. But not a layout for a house. Oh, there we go. Seems the orb isn't here. That means Dats must be our only lead at, at this point. Dick Disguise said he might still be here in the village. We should try to find him. Okay. Now let's have a look-see around. May 16th, Koran Village. Uh, good day to you, citizens of Koran Village. My name is Paul Adishan, and I want your vote. Wow, that's really loud. Look, thanks coming this way. Paul Ad Adishan, savior of Koran, has come to... Ah, it's you people. Uh, Apollo? What is that strange conveyance coming this way? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, oh! What the fuck? It's one of those, what, what, what do you call them? P Palanquins? What the shit? Ah! Uh, so you finally left Dr. Buff's house. What were you doing there? Reclaim the glory of Kurai and vote Paul Addison. A Ad Addison. Paul Addison. I'm not sure what to give this guy yet. I just to... Hear him out for a little bit. Uh, what a bunch of shade looking characters. And you aren't? So I take it you knew the doctor. Getting kind of Tagami vibes on this guy. Ha! Huh, what a foolish question. 
I've memorized the names and faces of the entire electorate here in Karai. Koran. After all, I'm the man who's destined to be the king of this fine nation someday. Oh, no, that is... Oh, I am the man destined to be the greatest one ever! Oh, Tagami works for you, I think, well. Um, who are you? What do you mean, king? Ignorant fools, I am the Paul Addison. Trying to... Paul Addison. A Addison. Paul Addison. Paul Addison. Pal Paul Addison. Pula -bula. I don't know. I'm trying, trying to hear what the pun is, but I'm not getting it. I am the soon to be eminent politician, a man whose name will go down in history. Oh my god, yes. I think Tagami is going to work just fine for you. You should be ashamed that you never. Oh, wait. But I. God damn, I always forget. But though, Phoenix Wright, I use, I use that for Edgeworth, too, though. What if Edward shows up later? And then I just feel horrible. Ah. How about we go with old Tagami, then? How about that? Old Tagami voice. Which. Uh, somehow, the, the, the transition from old to new Tagami, I don't know how it got there, but it happened at some point. But old, old Tagami sounds like something totally different. You should be ashamed that you've never heard of me before. Is he really that famous of a politician, Apollo? Not that I know of. I'm running for seat on the local council right now. I guess even jerk Q public has to start somewhere. But my election is a sure thing, I'm told. After all, my grandfather was a famous politician with untold influence. In short, I'm the chosen one, the golden boy, the powerhouse of politics. And a rider out of his grandfather's cocktails! <laughs> <laughs> Are you blinded by my majesty? Go ahead, bask in the resplendent glory that is me, the chosen one! Um, sure, oh my god, what the hell? I think someone might have knocked the douchiness on this guy a little too high. A pleasant day to you, good people of Koran. I am Paul Edison. It's time to reclaim the glory of Koran together. A convenience store on every corner, a karaoke bar in every home. A pa vote for Paul Edison is a vote for a happier, hopier, hopier <laughs> Koran village. Turn on that inverter, right, you fool! You're a stain on your grandfather's good name, you piece of shit! Thank you, good sir. Your support is appreciated, as always. <laughs> this is one of those people who only hears what they want to hear. In other words, he's a model politician. <laughs> but a ch Bazinga. Now, where was I? All oh, right, you were in the doctor's house. Just what in the world were you doing in there? Hmm? I have to talk to him. Paul Addison. Is this what you ride around in when you're campaigning? That's right. It's perfect for the narrow roads and steep hills here in this village. It has a top speed of five miles per hour, but suffers from serious reliability issues. <laughs> Namely, these imbeciles tire out too quickly. <laughs> uh, we'll try harder next time, sir. Poor guys. Exhausted and covered in sweat. Oh, that guy's vomiting blood. The Addison family has been in politics for generations, even back in the old country. Really? My grandfather, Abe Addison, was a prominent member of Congress, and he was born right here in Koran. There isn't a person here who hasn't heard of him. All I asked about was this palanquin. <laughs> palanquin. Must have heard of the Addisons. I'm even revising our old country campaigning style. Oh, um, politics aren't really my thing, Trucy. <laughs> I don't really ever read, recall ever reading about them at school. F young people of today, you people really need to pay more attention to politics. Ah. Uh, so, what business do you people have at Dr. Buff's house? He's gone to transfer ownership of the Founder's Orb to us. It's a sacred relic from the Kingdom of Korain. The Founder's Orb? So you tried to get your hands on it, did you? Wait, what do you know about the orb? Heh, I know that it's mine. That's what. How do you figure that? Because I know it's not the Founder's Orb. Its real name is the Crystal of Amifei. Hey, Amifei, all right. Crystal of Amifei. That's right. It's been passed down for generations in the Addison family. Till it was stolen, that is. Just when I had zeroed in on the culprit. The doctor hid it away and then kicked the bucket. So you're saying Dr. Buff stole your family heirloom? That's not what Dirk said. Strange. But I've been told the doctor himself said that. He had the, he had the Founder's Orb. 
It's all the weird foreigners doing. He filled the doctor's head with nonsense. Nonsense like the crystal of Ami Fei being the founder's orb. Weird foreigner? Could he mean... Is the foreigner you're talking about? Uh... Talking about that's a rebel? Yes, that's him. I thought so. And we really have to find Dats. Dats? Dats and dirt! Do you know where this man is now? I imagine he's at the detention center by now. I called the authorities after I found him hiding in my dog's doghouse. But what? A buffoon. Well, at least we know where he is now. Let's head over to the detention center and see what he knows about the Founder's Door. That guy just can't stay not arrested, can he? It's like Maya. So, you really are after my crystal? No, we're looking for the Founder's Orb. We have an agreement to pro prove it. Well, just so you know, you're not going to lay a finger on it. It's mine. MINE! I intend to give it to my benefactor. Your benefactor? This guy doesn't move a lot. This guy, yeah, seriously, it's just his head, and his whole body just means completely stationary. My benefactor is ready to support my wise and rise to the pinnacle of the political world. They have immense influence here, you see, and I intend to harness that influence. So you're just gonna give your family heirloom away to this this person? That's right. It's a purely political decision. In exchange, your patron will get the people of Koran to vote for you. <laughs> Ebony politicians are skilled at leveraging all of their connections. Is it illegal to buy votes? Well, good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> just wait. Paul Addison will reign supreme someday. Okay, a little deeper than the regular. Old Tagami was more like this, I think. I, it's kind of hard because some of the voices sort of blend a little bit, like... Like, it starts to get kind of close to the Yusuke voice, which is kind of close to Yuda, and I'm trying to get... So I'm trying to get some some distinct here. I think that works all right, though. And it sounds at least, uh, different enough. All right, to the detention center! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, got caught again! A16, tennis air business room! Damn it, Dots! Hey! <laughs> Yipes! <laughs> What's he doing under the desk? Ah, foul calls the corrupt, corrupt regime! I've, I've got nothing to say to you! Dots, it's me, Dirk. Dirk! You're sad for sore eyes. <laughs> I need you come save me. Well, this is an another fine mess you got yourself into. Ah, <laughs> my bad, my bad. At least the grub is pretty good compared to the prison back home. You get three squares plus a place to eat sleep. How'd you join me, Dirk? No thanks. They just sent me back to Karai Kara where I'd face immediate execution. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be such a good idea. Looks like he's still the same, too. Long time to see, Dads. Huh? Hey, you look... kind of familiar. Uh, ah! uh, Apollo? I is it really you, my boy? Hey, to the jail, growing up and whatnot. How you been? Fine. And you, Dads? You look good. You know, besides the incarceration and all. Pshit! <laughs> <laughs> that was horns, AJ! Horns? Oh, come on! They're growing up with you, just like a stag's antlers! I <laughs> can't take it! Ah, really haven't changed a bit. You still shit all over me. Why does my life revolve around people shitting on me? Anyway, there's something we need to talk to you about. Yeah, pull up a chair! I've got all the time in the world. Right, big guy? Yeah, he's. That guy over there's dead, I'm pretty sure. So that was like my second home. It's really not so bad once you get used to it. It's rather laid back for someone in police custody. <laughs> I like Dats. He's funny. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dats! Hey, look what I can do. Booyah! Why, AJ, you become a fine lawyer in your own right. Nah, I still have a lot to learn. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. If I ever went to trial, I definitely want you on my side. Knowing you, you'd probably skip town before the trial even started. Ah, you know me so well, AJ. You! Oh, yeah, he, call, he calls him AJ and Phoenix uh, PW. PW! 
Dad's. Was what the doctor had really the founder's orb? Absolutely, positively. Doc would share share of it. Really? Because someone from the village is calling it the Crystal of Ami Fei. He also claims you were f filling the doctor's head with lies. <laughs> that ain't true. Doc said he was sure it was the real deal. All his face research confirmed it was the founder's orb. So then that Paul Addison character was lying. That's in that. Paul just knew lies. Bazinga again. I bet he wants the orb all himself. It's mine. <laughs> mm, wonder what is. Wonder who's telling the truth. Well, take a look at this. Proves the doc believed he had the founder's orb. Let me see that. Will you take that in there with you? Orb transfer agreement. I agree to hand over the founder's orb to the defined dragons. I will come to no harm, Dr. Archie Buff. See, I got it all down to writing. But Dads, why does it say, if I will come to no harm, at the end here? Sounds like he was scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Dads, did you threaten the doctor in any way? No, you got it all wrong. It was the doc's friend. He told the old man us rebels are dangerous. It's his fault, Doc, that I might hurt him. S sounds like the work of that politician. He really made a mess of things. Okay, I see. What did you do, Dats? What have you done now, Dats? <laughs> Noth nothing! I I'm innocent, I tell ya! It all started when this dog-faced cop tried to question me. I think his name was Gumshoe or something. He looks so funny, I started laughing at him, and that's when they came after me. Hey, pal, you come back here, pal! Ah, you haven't shown up in any of the last three games. Shut up, pal! I've been busy! But it was hilarious, I tell you. I mean, you a police dog? How funny is that? Right, so what happened after that? They caught me hiding in a doghouse. Dang, Poos ratted me out. And I guess I get for laughing at one of his doggy comrades. <laughs> Sound like the dogs got the last laugh. Dads, were you cleared out of those jailbreak charges? You're ca ca captured by Lady Kara, deemed unlawful. Yeah, but the cops here don't seem to like me anyway. What are the charges this time? An authorized entry or something like that. I think I'm an illegal alien. I can't prove it. Can't prove otherwise, because I lost my passport. <laughs> Is there any way they let you go? Nah, without my passport. If only I, if only I had it. Dirk, AJ, you gotta find my passport. All right, we'll find it. More thing to add to our to-do list. It's probably back at the doghouse. Where might Dance's passport be? Oh, about the orb's whereabouts. Maybe the doc's kid knows something. Doctor has a kid? Yeah, bit of a shut-in though. Poor thing's own bedroom has become like a self-imposed prison. A shut in. Sounds like it'll be a challenge just to get to a conversation going. It's Futaba. Ah! Not me, no! <laughs> Tell me a question, follow me! Ah, uh, Mr. Lunchtime! Today's fried chicken, if I'm not mistaken! I'll get your lunch if you behave yourself! Derek, AJ! I'll see you guys around! <laughs> see you later, guys! That guy's always upbeat about everything, isn't he? Oh, you guys having fried gecko today? No way, it's my favorite, dude! Our only lead now is Dr. Buff's kid. But luring a shut in out is. Not going to be easy, I know. Dr. Buff, back to the study again, I guess. May 16th, Koran Village, Dr. Study. Uh, oh, it's you again. Oh, it's you against me! Wait for Mr. Wright! He was just here a second ago. What? Why are you serious? He was? What's Daddy doing here? Good question. Probably stopping by here with Maya. He said he was looking for something. Did he say anything else? Uh, let me think. Something about how his ride never showed up at the airport. Yes, that was it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Athena's dead. Guess Athena really did get lost. What's Daddy doing all the way out here in the first place? Can't be looking for us since no one told him we'd be here. He's probably here with Maya then, right? Oh, that'd be awesome. I hope she's... Come on, Maya's gotta be fucking dumb by now. Huh. Well, if you're if you're taking another look around, be my guest. I have other work to do. 
So if you'll excuse me. God, we have so many things to do already. Of course. Thanks, Emma. First and foremost, better find Das's passport. We should also have a word with Dr. Buff's child. Hey, it's just me. Is there something new in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean that thing. Yeah, let's take a closer look at that, too. Let's not forget about Das's passport. It should be around here somewhere. Yeah, that thing on the floor. What is that? Uh, what's this? Model helicopter? Don't you know anything, Apollo? It's a drone! They're all the rage right now! Oh, yeah. Sweet. Hey, we're talking about things that are actually sort of true now, too. I bet it belongs to the doctor's kid. We need to ask them about the orb's whereabouts. Yeah, learning how to shut in isn't going to be easy. Look at this helicopter, maybe that'll work. Well, that's it? We're not, okay, we're not taking it with us? Hey, in the suitcase? That's the suitcase. His passport's in there. Ah! It's no good. It's locked tight. Should have asked him for the key. Check it out the window. What are we gonna do about Das's passport? It's probably right there inside his suitcase. We can't get it open. Why don't I take it over to Das so we can unlock it? No, use your magic. You said you can get it unlocking people's desks, right? Can you unlock the suitcase? That way you guys continue looking for the orb. Good thing, Trucy. Okay, here I go! Huh? What the? This thing was a ton! Let me try. Jeez! How can a suitcase be so heavy? Is the Founder's Orb in this thing? Is it filled with bricks or something? Knowing Dance, it probably packed his dumbbells in there. Certainly much too heavy to lug all the way to the detention center. Here, let me take a crack at that lock. What, are you gonna pick it? I'm gonna bust over with my fist! There you go. That was fast. Ah-ha! A lock like that is child's play to me. Especially after all the wrongly imprisoned compatriots I've busted out over the years. You sure seen a lot of action for an ex-lawyer. And here we go. That's his passport. I'll take it over to him. Thanks, Trucy. No problem! Hey guys, enjoy some quality father-son treasure hunting time, okay? See you later! There she goes. Aw, oh, man. Now I'm alone with Dad. Ah, so awkward. We should really make such a big deal out of our little family situation. Father-son time, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Daddy dirt! <laughs> but it is since we've had a father-son talk. Huh, son? You know where babies come from? Yes, Dad. Yeah, over a decade. So, Apollo, um, how have you been? <laughs> oh, uh, fine. Uh, fine! I, I guess. Is that so? Fine, you say? Well, fine is fine by me. Good to hear. Um, okay. Ah, uh, Jersey, come back! Dirk! Mmm. Uh, um, so what do we talk about now? Get down! Hit the, hit the dirt, son! Huh? Oh my god! What the- oh my- Uh, 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 plane kill- oh, oh my god! Oh, Apollo's dead! Fuck! I died that day. The end. Speak to me, son. Say something! Ah, uh, Dad. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? He shot the shit out of me. Ah. Uh, that smarts. Oh, it's still alive. Uh, oh. Hey, Matt. Magus, what do you think you're doing to me? Mom, I'm in Play a scorching day in Siberia before you go past me. The yellow belly eyes. Whoa, I can talk. What kind of drone is this anyway? Ah! <laughs> Now then, that's Sergeant Buff to you, soldier. You got that, you lowly grunt? Ow! The who now? What the who now? Buff. So like the doctor's son is behind the controls. He's controlling this this thing? Follow. 
Let's play along for now. At least until we can get the information we need out of it. G got it. Um, Sergeant Buff? Sergeant Buff, sir! You got front say, sir! Ain't you never seen a war movie before? Oh, right. Let me try that again. Sergeant Buff, sir! <laughs> better! Much better. Now, stay your name, unit! And rank, sol rank soldier! No, oh, um, I'm Apollo. <laughs> like, it was, it was, it was grabbing his mu little, like, wing or something there, like a mustache. I'm Apollo Justice, a servant of the Right Anything Agency. My rank is, um, fledgling lawyer? Sir! Affirmative, private justice. Private? Let's stop diaper, baby! Your commanding officer's orders are absolute! Disobedience means to no one! I won't wait trip to the firing squad! Do I make myself clear? Oh, um, sir, yes, sir. Good, good. Well, I'll make man, man out of you yet, private. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, for you, Cyclops! Ah! Uh, oh, you, you want my name, unit, and rank two. Um, I'm Dirk Simani. I command the rebel group to define dragons. My rank is, um, leader, sir. Ex excellent. Look, welcome aboard, Commodore Dirk. Wait, wait a second. What's with that ridiculous mop to call a head? Soldiers should be clean cut. Uh, sorry, this is my signature look, and I. Ah! Whoa! But fine, fine. I'll get a haircut before we ship out. This is up, you. It's killing a big kill now on that battlefield. No place for leaving. Leaving conditioners. Oh gosh, your life. You're lucky to have that. It's oddly obsessed with Phil's arrival for someone who never goes outdoors. This is going to be harder than I thought, son. Yeah, oh god. Okay, you know what? I think right there is a good place to end things here. So, I'm pretty goofy so far, honestly. <laughs> We're like this little helicopter flying around. We haven't even te technically taken on this case yet either. But I'm sure it's only a matter of time. But it makes you wonder then how is this going to relate to the whole the whole Karain thing, right? I honestly, I'm, I'm shocked we're, we're back as Apollo and back in Japan, California. Not still in Karain. I thought we'd be stuck around there to, to overthrow the government and stuff. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.